Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to patch your initial D Extreme stage for the PlayStation 3 so that you have a partial translation. Now, the partial translation will cover the menu so that you can navigate the game easily. However, it does not translate the uh, story, the campaign of the game. Now to translate that, if necessary, you could download Google Translate to do it through the camera on your phone, or there's a similar app for Apple phones as well. I forget what that's called, but just look it up. As I said, only if you really want to follow the story, which um, I suppose most people don't, but anyways, it's there. Now, I've put a link in the description which is going to bring you to this page here for the patch. You're going to want to scroll down to Partial English Translation Windows X Delta Patch Up. Click it and then click here to download. Now once you've downloaded, you're going to want to, uh, to make it easier, I'd put them both in the same folder, the game in this format and the patch. Um, I've already extracted my game here and it's within this folder. So you've got game update disk.fsb. Once you have the game in that format, as I said, if you do have an ISO, then you're going to have to use 7-SIP, WinRAR, etc. to extract it. So you could either extract this to get to the files or open it within WinRAR. And you're going to want to move all of these files here into your game directory. And once you have run this patch dot bat and it will patch the game very quickly it will come up press any key to continue and just do so and it's that simple it's done now we do not need x delta readme patch eboot car 2d or backup in this folder anymore once it's done so you can go ahead and delete them from here now we've done that, the game is fully patched. Um, so all that's left to do is to boot up our PCS3. Now I'm running the latest version as of this video. Um, and I have the latest firmware installed within the emula emulator as well. So if you're having any issues, uh, that's what I'm using. And before you run the game, you're going to want to right click uh, well, to add the game you're going to go file add games and then just select the folder wherever your game is on your computer highlight that folder and click select folder and it will come up in this menu so once it's in this menu right click the game change custom configuration now the only options which are different from default um, I have full width AVX 512, but a lot of CPUs do not have this available. Now, I only have it ticked because mine is available and it gives a small speed up to emulation in general, but it's not necessary at all. And I would imagine most CPUs would have no trouble at all running this game at 60 frames per second. It's very light. So under GPU, we're going to use the Vulkan renderer with our frame limit off. And we're going to use 16x anisotropic to sharpen up the graphics, give it that nice pin sharp look. Now the options which differ on this page are right color buffers. This has to be enabled for the correct rendering of the graphics. I also use VSync uh, for the smoothest animation possible at 60 hertz. Now these are not necessary, but I find they give a small performance bump as well. Now, if you're having any issues with missing graphics in games, this is one setting that is good to play with, not just in this title, but in um, many titles. So if you're having any issues with missing graphics, glitchy textures, etc., try it with this off. Uh, for this game, I'm going to leave it on because mine's working fine. But if you do experience missing graphics, turn this off. Anyways, in the advanced tab, the only thing that differs from default is we're using accurate RSX reservation access. 
the rest of the settings are completely default so I have my audio set to linear PCM2 manually so that games don't try and output Dolby Digital, uh, digital or 7.1 channel etc through my speakers because I only have two speakers but other than that the rest is just completely default so once you've set them settings you're going to want to click apply and save and um, yeah right click again and boot with custom configuration now all that's left to do is play so we're going to run off into some gameplay I'm not great at the game <laughs> I haven't played it much it's not my usual cup of tea I'm more into sim racing so uh, yeah well I hope you enjoyed the footage anyway I hope this tutorial helped in some way and I would appreciate it if you could like and if you're into this type of content there will be more coming in the future so please consider subscribing anyways I hope you have a great day and into the gameplay here we go おい、そこのお前。お前だよ。見かけねえやつだな。どっから来たのか知らねえが。